everybody who came down and spoke tonight, and, and given the history of what has happened with that farm property, uh, it is the citizens' property, and I'm very aware of that, and I'm very sorry that we don't have a current, or at least we are still operating under the framework for the future of 2030 that was adopted back in 2008. So we do need to update that, and hopefully when we do, all of what you have said will be considered. Um, I am very, I, I think whoever Joshua is, that little group that was here, I think maybe we need to recruit them <laughs> to come up with a robot for the city farm yeah. and to get them involved in the city farm because they are movers and shakers even at their age. I do want to express my condolences as well uh, to Chuck Allen's family, his brother John, and I know pretty well. And I got to know Chuck, uh, a little different side of Chuck because when I was on the school board, we had a trip to China, and he led the delegation. And he was quite different from what he was when he sat up here. <laughs> but he was really a great guy, and he had to be, because his birthday was the same birthday as my husband's. So <laughs> I reminded him of that quite often. Again, I thank you for coming, and I, I want you to know that I, I, am not, I, I think that we can come up with something that will be revenue producing for the city uh, above and beyond what 200 families could bring in. And we might bring in more than that if we have a first class, as Mr. Gray said, a first class part for a first class city. So thank you all for coming down. I, uh, will be, I, I'm afraid I'm a little bit older than you are, Tina. <laughs> My birthday is this week, but I'm not telling you how. <laughs> <laughs> nice